Hey guys, what's up? I'm TDC from Tonic Studios, and today I'm going to teach you how to install mods on any version of Minecraft using Minecraft Forge. So, first, the, th the first thing that you're going to want to do, this also works for Windows 7, I believe it also works for Windows XP, all of the methods are the same. So, I'm just going to go down here and type in percent app data percent. And once we do that, we're going to have all of these folders. Make sure you do have Minecraft installed, or else it'll obviously not work. So I'm just going to go into Minecraft here. And here we have this. We have just the simple Minecraft folder. So I'm just going to minimize this, because we're going to have to use that later. So now we're going to go into our Google Chrome, or whatever you use, and you're going to go to files.minecraftforge.net. Then here we have the site where you're going to download the mod client. So you're going to find the version of Minecraft that you have. I have 1.7.10 because that's the best version for mods. And then you're going to download 1.7.10 un uh, underscore pre4. Just be sure to download the, the version that you have. So I have the normal one. And now it gives you an option to download the latest or the or to download the recommended one. Now obviously I'm going to make I'm going to recommend you guys download download the recommended version, but if you want to use every mod, every 1.7 Every 1.7.10 mod, uh, you're going to probably want to download the latest. So I'm just going to, but for now, I'm going to download the recommended. So you're going to go into installer-win. And if you have a Mac, you're going to want to go to installer. So I'm just going to download the installer-win. It's going to send you to add focus. Uh, it's, it's just like an ad fly thing. And once that's done, we're going to skip. And then we're, all right, here we go. Here we, it, in the bottom, it's downloading it. So it's not that much. It's not that real. It's really not that difficult for everything. All right, so we're gonna download Forge, or we already did. So we're gonna open it now. And once we open it, it'll give you the pop up to ask if it wants to let you do shit with it. And then we have install client, install server, or extract. So I'm so if you are if you have a modded server that you want to do, you're gonna click install server and put it to your server directory. But I'm just going to do the install client for now. So I'm just going to click OK, and it's going to download the libraries, and then it's going to put them into your Minecraft. And yeah, I'll see you guys right when that finishes. All right, guys, it has finished. And you'll know it's finished when it says successfully installed client forge profile for version forge, and then the version that you downloaded into launcher and grabbed uh, and then an amount of required libraries. So you're just going to click OK. And now you technically have a modded Minecraft without mods. So nobody wants that. There's no point to it. So I'm just going to make a new folder in my dot Minecraft. And if you don't want to do this, just open up Minecraft and then quit it again. Uh, and then you'll automatically have a mods folder. But I'm just going to make it quick and make a mods folder in the dot Minecraft. So we're going to go there. And we're going to go to a mod website. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's go to 9 Minecraft. Because this website isn't horrible. It actually has lots, lots of mods. And I know there's like 10 Minecraft 7, 5, 3, 1. It's just it's, it's stupid. All right. So now we're going to go into Minecraft mods and then for 1.7.10. And then we have all of these mods. Now we're going to go into our mods. So I'm just going to do that so it's easier. And then we're simply just going to click and drag the two mods that we downloaded, they should be a .zip or .jar file, into our mods folder, which is in the percent app data percent, and then .roaming, and then .minecraft. And here we have our two mods, and this is all we're gonna use for this, all I'm gonna use for this. So I'm just gonna put that right there, and I'm going to look up Minecraft. And so I'm just gonna run. So we're opening this, and guys, you won't be using your mods if you simply click play because you're still on your original profile. So in the launcher, you're going to want to go to the bottom left. You're going to click on the profile and you're going to click forge. This will load all of your mods and it'll still have your player profile and your skin for your player. But all it'll simply do is incorporate these mods that we just downloaded into the Minecraft game. So um, it has to download some things for the forge client, which is what it's doing right now. Guava 17.0.jar. Uh, all of these things for Twitch, all of these types of things. All right, so now it's launching, and we should get uh, CB dev, dev loaders, or however the fuck you say it. And now 
it's gonna say all of this. And I believe this is only for Code Chicken Core, I'm not sure. It might just be the, the default for Forge. But it's gonna go through all of this, and you guys can already tell, wow, this looks a bit different. So as you guys can see, there's a new mod folder, and it'll say the mods that we have. And we have not enough items and Code Chicken Core. This will, looking in here, will tell you that you have successfully installed the mods and they should work. So I'm just gonna go into a single player world. I'm gonna call it um, uh, YouTube Tutorial. We're gonna make it creative and uh, super flat, why not? And then we're just gonna create the new world. It'll convert the world. Now, when you're using mods, and if you have a lot of mods, it'll take a while to load into your world because it has to load all of the things from the mods. So I'm just gonna make these, that's good. Uh, V-Sync off. And then I'm just gonna make the difficulty peaceful just so I don't have to deal with those goddamn slimes. So guys, I'm just gonna put this up here because my microphone's blocking it. All right, so here we have this and it says version 1.0.5 120 of not enough items is available this is that's the latest version i downloaded the recommended version if you want to download the latest version and experiment feel free to do so just be sure to make a copy of your dot minecraft file and this music is so loud all right so guys now when we go into our inventory we're gonna have a lot and a lot of new things well guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a, a kind of some fun, not that much fun making it, but that's because it's just straightforward and simple. But yeah, though guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial and you found it helpful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment below what tutorial I should do next. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you later. Goodbye.